Salutations, I am back, uh, back on day two of uh, my new keto lifestyle. I wish to report that the keto flu is, I, I don't know if that's an accurate um, description of it. I would call it more like an angry hangover that you, there just seems to be no recovery from. So I woke up today, I've had a headache. Um, I felt nauseous. I felt very jittery, very empty, kind of like down here is full, but up here is empty. Like, you know, that feeling like, oh, I just need dessert, even though like I, I'm full. My muscles have been spasming. My head has been hurting. I've just been genuinely a little unpleasant to be around. So I'm very glad that I chose to start this journey on a Saturday. I did go to Costco with my mother-in-law this morning, and it was quite lovely. I must recommend if you're going to do keto or just be a human, get a Costco membership, especially if you have a family. I got gigantic jars of peanut butter, almond butter, uh, almond flour, uh, gigantic blocks of cheese the side of my head uh, for very, very cheap. And so I have done all of my grocery shopping to set us up for success. Uh, one of my favorite purchases I will show you now as we venture through the home was my digital scale. Sorry, I know this is not professional lighting. There we are. My goal here is not to appear like a professional. I have seen the YouTubers that appear like professionals. They've got professional backdrops, they've got professional scripting, but I want you to know that this is just me. This is my hot mess. This is my everyday life. And this is me trying to do something for myself as a busy mom uh, with very little time. So this is our digital scale. I don't know how to flip this once we've started recording. So here you are, it's really neat. You turn it on, you can take a container on there and hit tear, it sets it back down to zero. You can then measure out your food exactly. No more wasting measuring cups for everything. No more wondering, oh, it says four ounces of chocolate chips. That's roughly a cup, I think. Uh, everything is done right there for you, so. I'm very excited I got the opportunity to use that for the first time today. So um, day two is a success. I've been tracking everything with the MyPlate app. It's super easy. I'm not really, uh, not really like obsessing over the details. I just like to be able to quickly see kind of where my macro measurements are because as I'm sure you know, and there are different opinions, but from what I've heard, you're supposed to keep your fat at around 80% your protein around 15, 20%, no wait, fat 80, protein 15, fat five or something around that. So being able to kind of track that and see how it's going has been very helpful for me. So I'm about to head out to girls night out. We are headed to a Mexican restaurant where it was supposed to be margaritas and dinner and guacamole. So I was very sad when I found out that a margarita has 30 two carbs in it. It's my 32 carb vase. Cause I really love margaritas. So I've been thinking all day, how can I not just sabotage all of the effort? Cause like this pain is telling me that my body is going through some serious withdrawal. Like I have sympathy for drug addicts. This is just a sugar withdrawal. And I'm genuinely unpleasant to be around today. So if you're withdrawing from drugs, good Lord, may God's grace be with you. So I'm thinking, okay, margaritas, that's a no-go. So what can I do? Um, I could do a shot of tequila with some diet Sprite. I could just go old school uh, Bacardi and Diet Coke. I could do a glass of white wine for three carbs. Um, there are different options. So you just kind of have to say, is it worth it? to go out of ketosis and to undo everything I've done for a couple of margaritas. And for me, it's not. I've gone too far and fought too hard. So I'm going to probably have either a Bacardi and diet or a glass, like I said, a glass or two of white wine. They're three carbs a piece. So that's, that's doable. Guacamole, 
good stuff, great fats. Instead of chips, I'm gonna ask for little slices of cucumber or celery to eat it with. So that is my plan, or lettuce. They've got lettuce wraps, I can do something with that. So that is my plan, day two down. Um, I had butter in my coffee this morning. I had a ham and cheese omelet with extra cheese on top for breakfast. I had a ham and cheese roll-ups for lunch, some salty almonds, some cottage cheese. Uh, so it's been good. I've been really enjoying everything. I made fat bombs last night and they did. I don't, I don't know if they turned out the way they're supposed to, but they didn't turn out the way I thought they would. I'm um, learning you need to have a special taste for artificial sweeteners and I, I don't think I do. So I'm going to give one of those a try maybe today. Um, I made them, haven't, I just kind of like licked the bowl. So we'll see how it goes. So day two is down. Uh, nobody's dead. Um, all is well. In all fairness, my children are at their father's today. Praise God. Um, they come back tomorrow. So tomorrow I have work. I have church. I have children. So wish me luck and pray for me. And I will let you know how it goes. So. Thank you so much and have an awesome night.